What do you think will be the consequences of people trapped in their modern information bubbles? I think the consequence will be that it will be far more difficult to have honest discussions on anything. How come? Well, you won't necessarily agree on the facts, and the more we disagree on the facts, the more we can't agree on theories and conclusions. So what does this mean in practice? It will be much less likely to systematically question practices and policies that affect large groups of people, and therefore it will be easier for those who control such information bubbles to exploit them. I think that this is all due to modern media. What do you think? I do too. It's clear that it's harder for people to talk with each other online than in person. People hide behind anonymity, and that makes everything easier. This whole phenomenon is then described as political correctness or ideology. What do you think? Well, I also agree with this perspective. I'm not sure it's the correct perspective, but it's definitely an interesting perspective. Okay, so what do you think about this perspective? First of all, I think that people are simply hardwired to be biased in favor of their own ideas. This is part of the reason why we like to surround ourselves with like-minded thinkers and people who agree with us and why we dislike those who disagree with us by attacking them personally instead of focusing on the discussion at hand. Yes, I agree. Another thing is that we tend to respond more to emotions than to facts and we tend to remember more emotionally charged memories than facts. The latter is something both the postmodern movement and neurobiology had in common. Yes, I agree with both of those statements as well. So the reason why people get stuck in their information bubbles is due not only to modern media, but also due to human nature itself. We all want our own ideas confirmed by reality, not challenged by reality. And that's not good for honest discussions. You're right there. I also think that there is a noticeable correlation between modern media, advertising, and political correctness. This explains why people get stuck in their information bubbles. Indeed. And I really hope that you're right about this too because if you're not, then everything else could be just an illusion. So what do you think will be the consequences of people trapped in their modern information bubbles? Well, the consequences will be the same as before. It will be much more difficult to have honest discussions on anything, and this will allow those who control the money to exploit the poor. And what does this mean in practice? It means that there will be even less freedom and democracy than we all thought before. This is not a good thing because the poor will always struggle to get a bite of the pie. And if it's bad enough, then they might just revolt. And that would be undesirable because the rich will always have more resources to employ violence in order to maintain their way of life. And this is something we don't want. I agree with you. But there's more. What? The absence of freedom and democracy is also not good for the rich because it means that they can't enjoy a free market system where companies compete in a free market economy with free prices for all goods and services. You're right. So, let's face it, if people are trapped in their information bubbles, then not only will it be more difficult for them to have honest discussions on anything, but the entire structure of the world economy and the political system that supports it will suffer as a consequence. I think you're right about that too. So what do you think about this perspective? Well, I agree with you there. Modern media is a threat to freedom and democracy on both sides of the political spectrum. And as you said earlier, it's also a threat to free markets as well as everyone's well-being in general. Wow. We agree on something. Yes, we do. So what should we do to counter this phenomenon? I think the answer is rather obvious. The problem is that people get trapped in their information bubbles. And for this reason, I think that we should try to break the bubbles by engaging in honest discussions with each other instead of seeking out news and opinions that confirm our ideas and beliefs. The latter will only reinforce the bubbles, while the former will help us break them. You should try to listen and talk with others more often. 
I'm not sure if that's a good idea because I think some people don't deserve to be hurt. But you should still try anyway. After all, most people are reasonable people and if you have a conversation with them, then most of the time they'll be open to what you have to say. And that's the way out of the bubbles. If they're open-minded enough, then they can find a way around any argument they hear from someone who is most likely trapped in his own information bubble. Yes, you're right. Just try it and you'll see how it works. Okay, I will. So, in conclusion, bubbles are bubbles because people don't engage in honest discussions with each other anymore. And if we want to break the bubbles and start engaging in honest discussions with each other again, then we have to be open-minded people who listen and talk with others more often instead of seeking out news and opinions that confirm our ideas and beliefs. I'm going to try that. Good. And you should too. Thank you.